Hello! In this video, we will explain the process of setting up seven sensors on the Sangro data logger. First, we need to connect the irradiance sensor and the external sensors. Before we proceed with the connection, let's get to know our sensors. Our product set consists of the main sensor, which is the irradiance sensor, and the connectable external sensors, which are the ambient temperature sensor, the model temperature sensor, the wind speed sensor, the wind direction sensor, and the humidity sensor. The connectors that link the external sensors have different pin numbers. Therefore, there is no risk of making a wrong connection. By following the pin numbers, we connect the iridium sensor box and the external sensors. Once the connection process of the external sensors is completed, a 3-meter cable is used for the power and communication of the irradiant sensor. The brown, white, yellow, and green wires at the other end are connected to the power supply and data logger to power and communicate the sensor. The brown wire connects to the power supply plus, the white wire connects to the power supply minus, Seven sensors operate with a voltage of 12 to 30 VDC. The recommended voltage is 24 VDC. The green and yellow wires connect to the one of the COM ports on the Sangro data logger. The Sangro data logger has three Modbus COM communication ports. Once you have chosen which port to connect to, connect the green wire to the input marked as data plus and the yellow wire to the input marked as data minus. If more than one device is connected to the port you have connected, the device IDs must be different. The baud and parity values must be the same. If you want to change the sensor ID, you can do so by using the 7 sensor configuration tool. Once the connection cable between the data logger and the sensor is completed, the sensor must be added to the data logger. There is an internet browser interface for this process. To connect to the data logger interface, the computer to be used and the data logger must be connected to the same network. A web browser opens on a computer on the same network as the data logger. A search is made by typing the IP address of the data logger into the web browser. There are two ways of configuring the network parameters. The first connection type is Ethernet connection. The second type of connection is via Wi-Fi. In this video, we will connect to the data logger by connecting the sensor via Wi-Fi. The logger 1000A wireless network name is searched in the computer's network search section. And the connection process is carried out by login onto this network without using password. Then, Type the IP address of the Sangro data logger in the search bar of the search page. The IP address is written on the data logger. Once the configuration interface page is open, click on the login item in the top right hand corner. The default password is PW1111. And the interface is opened by clicking on the login button. After that, the seven sensor box will not be automatically detected in the logger 1000 interface on the screen that appears. Settings must be therefore made manually. To add the seven sensor box after login into the O and M user interface, proceed as follows. Click on the device list item at the bottom of the device menu on the left side. On the screen that opens, Click on the Add Device section at the top left. 
Select device type as Meteo Station. Select the port to which you connect the sensors. Select device model as Others and configuration method as Custom and then click Next button. At the bottom of the page in the sensor configuration section, for sensors to be displayed on the control screen, the measurement points configuration section must be filled in according to the sensor registration addresses. For sensors that are not connected or that we don't want to display on the control screen, they should not be ticked. So, we must uncheck them. The registration addresses of connected sensors whose data you wish to monitor are entered as follows. In the total slope irradiation section, the recording address is 5. In the ambient temperature section, the register address is 17. The register address of the model temperature data is 16. The address of the wind speed data recording in wind speed is 3. The address of the wind direction data in the wind angle section is 19. Write relative humidity in ambient humidity section and enter the recording address as 18. Once the register addresses have been correctly entered, the coefficient selection process must be carried out correctly in the section specified as coefficient. The coefficient of the data whose register address is entered as 0.1. The data type must be selected as S16 for temperatures and as U16 for other sensors. The reading type is continuous and the register type is 0, X, 4. After all these are done, the saving process is performed with the confirm option at the bottom. After the configuration process is successfully done, you can follow the sensors instantly from the device monitoring section. Thank you for your time.